Well, let me ask you a question. We're standing here right now. Yep. Do you think there's an eye on you? Absolutely. Well, you better believe it. And they monitor the communicate. We've been told that a number of times. If you're on the radio or if you're on your cell phone, this whole area is being monitored. But we're on public land now. Why are we being monitored? Well, the base, base is right there. No sooner do we start talking about being monitored by Men in Black when two helicopters appear overhead. You see that, Kevin? Yep. There they come. They're going to come right over the top, boys. You see that, Kevin? Yep. There they come. They're going to come right over the top, boys. We're near the Dugway Proving Ground in Utah. Some are calling this the new Area 51. Researchers believe there's evidence of reverse engineering going on here. And I don't think it's a coincidence that as soon as we start talking about men in black, dark helicopters show up. But how, how ironic that they picked this spot to fly over. Would you say they're black? See any insignia on them? I don't see that. Well, that's no not insignia. all a draft. That's not all a draft. No, it's not. And there's no insignia. Do you see a tail number? No. I would say those were black. They, they were, were black, black helicopters. They were. Yeah. That's really weird. I've worked with a lot of uh, Chinooks, man. They're, they're all a draft. What do you think is going on? Who are these guys? And what, you know, what are they about? I, my take on it is that they are a private entity working in conjunction with someone that's involved in flying saucers or UFOs, whatever you want to call them. It gives government plausible deniability. In other words, here's a project and you, you farm, it, farm it off to a private company and they take care of the dirty work for you. But I believe ET's here and I believe our government knows about it. And therefore, what better way to have a certain entity that you can pawn off certain operations that you don't have to send your people on. You just make a phone call and say, hey, we've got a witness out here that's got some evidence. Why don't you go out there and intimidate them, either to keep their mouth shut, give up the evidence, or last but not least, adios, amigos. Guy on black Where right there. Holy shit, guy on black right there. Is he on black? He's getting in, uh, he's in, uh, he's walking in front of the white truck, parking in the building. Oh, okay. Backing up. Dude, they just hit that truck. The truck pulled behind the building. It's sitting right there behind the building. We're here at Dugway talking about the men in black. Is it a coincidence that a man in black has been apparently surveilling us for the whole time? Well, look, there's no denying. Men in black were surveilling us. Between the photo, all the eyewitnesses, uh, and the helicopters, and now this, it seems to me that there's a very strong military connection to the men in black. As investigators, we've gotten closer to the men in black than anyone. We've heard stories of threats and intimidation, and we've experienced some of that ourselves. They're real, and they know more about the UFO phenomenon than anyone.